Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Whitney and this is Wish Ray Beauty and today we're going to be playing with the new e.l.f. launches and I am literally so excited. I got my hands on the e.l.f. camo powder foundation by Miracle. Um, I think something happened with Ulta. They <laughs> got released a little bit early and I was able to grab one of the shades so we're going to be doing a wear test on that today as well as this beautiful lip. Um, testing out some mascara and the new power grip primer so if you want to see how these things wear throughout the day keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up click that subscribe button before you leave and let me know if you will be grabbing any of these products and we will jump right in Okay, I am just going to get everything started because I do want to do a wear test um, on this and it's getting a little bit late. So I am jumping in to the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and I did use this stuff on Friday. I didn't do a wear test but I did um, put it on <laughs> for a TikTok video and this reminds me a lot of the... Elf Mint Melt and the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, um, which the are two of my favorite. I really, the Mint Melt, I've been through like three of those already. Put that on, you can see that it's pretty tacky, so it gives a really good grip. And it's pretty um, like hydrating too, so it gives like a nice glow to the skin. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer. This one is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And I'm doing this before, which is not something I normally do. But since we are going in with a powder foundation, I just want to make sure all of my concealing is done. Okay, that is it. Just something super natural. Just a little bit of coverage. And then this is our obviously dirty because I used it yesterday. Um, but I'm going to go in. This is the shade 210 Light Neutral in the Camo Powder Foundation. And I will say that I do think that... They oxidize just a little bit, so I would have actually went a shade up um, if I would have had a choice, but I think something happened with the Ulta site. I think this was, like, released a little bit sooner than it was supposed to be, um, because they actually only had released, like, three or four shades. So this was my only option, which thankfully ended up being a good one, um, because if I would have gotten another shade, it would have been too dark. So I'm just doing half of my face with this, just so we can see the difference. Okay, so here it is with half the face done. The coverage, but honestly, like it doesn't look powdery at all for a powder foundation. Like, I still have, do you see, I still have a really nice glow right here. I'm just really, I was shocked when I put it on yesterday and it, the shock has not worn off. Look at this, the redness, literally no redness at all. It's impressive. I am impressed. I really hope it lasts. Like, I think it's going to powder foundation, oily skin. I think it's going to work out. So I'm really excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this side and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we look like with the whole face done. I'm going to go ahead and do my face on camera so we can just see how everything applies. I'm using my Jaclyn Cosmetics Bronze and Blush Palette in the shade Yummy Toffee and Stay Rosy.
Everything looks really dark on camera right now and I do not know why. Like this foundation looks way darker on camera. The bronzer looks way darker on camera. Okay, now I'm just going to take the puff that we used, and I'm literally just swiping that under that just to clean up the bronzer. Oh, I love it. I'm just going to take a blush brush. I'm going in to stay a rosy blush in that same palette. And we are just going to apply that. I swear it looks so dark on camera. I hope it doesn't look like that when I'm editing. Because um, right now I just look crazy. <laughs> but I don't look like that in person. <laughs> I literally just love... How this looks right now. I am going to throw on some freckles, some highlight, kind of get the rest of the face ready. And then we still have a mascara to play with and two of the glossy lip stains, which I'm really curious to do a like full wear test on those two because I've heard that they last really long. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is what the face looks like right now, and I'm literally obsessed with the way that it looks. I am going to go in with the new Lash Beats Mascara now. And I'm just gonna start by putting that on one eye so we can see the difference. I'll be honest, from using this yesterday, I don't dislike it. But I don't think I like it more than my Lash It Loud by e.l.f. That's my literal favorite mascara. And I'm saying that as it looks freaking amazing now. I did not like it this much yesterday, I'll be honest. Maybe it needed a day. Okay. Yeah, maybe it did because I definitely like it a lot more today. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, wow. So, no mascara. No mascara, mascara. There's a good difference. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the other eye now. Okay, yeah, I am really enjoying this mascara today. So I guess I opened my mouth too soon. And that's why you should always try a product more than once because I did not love it this much yesterday. But today, holy crap. My lashes look amazing. Okay, so we are going to go into the glossy lip tint in the shade Fiery Red. I really wanted to use this one. And from my understanding, as the glossiness of this wears off, it leaves kind of just a like lip stain. Um, that's like kiss proof, smudge proof, and it's supposed to last a long time. So this is what it looks like. I am going to let it wear naturally throughout the day. So I'm not going to blot any of the glossiness or anything off of it right now because I really want to see how it wears as I eat the rest of the day and all that stuff. Um, but right now I am obsessed with the way we're looking. I'm not going to set my face um, with any setting spray or anything because I just want to see how my natural oils 
like take over this foundation and it is 3 30 right now so I don't know how long this wear test will be hopefully I'll check back around 9 30 10 o'clock and we will see how it wears I'll see you guys in a little bit okay so it is almost 9 30 so this has been on for six hours and I'm literally obsessed. I am a little bit dewy, but I like this look on me personally. It just looks so good. There's like no breakage. I had my glasses on today and it still looks really good. As for the lipstick, I mean, did it do horrible for six hours? No, but I wouldn't say like it's a really intense lip stain. Um, it looks, <laughs> it looks a little bit rough, but I mean, I did eat twice and everything so I'm not it's fine I'm not upset about it I do think it was really pretty um the mascara has fallen a little bit I still don't know if I love love it I don't know when I look at it here I was on TikTok live earlier and it did not look like I loved it that much but then when I'm looking at it in like my camera I don't know if it's like the angle but it looks a lot better but I, I it's not my favorite I don't, I don't hate it. I don't even dislike it, but it's not my favorite one from e.l.f. Um, but yeah, as for the foundation, 15 out of 10. I'm literally obsessed with it. This might even be my new everyday favorite foundation. It just looks so beautiful. It lasted so well on my oily skin. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button before you leave and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you will be grabbing any of these products and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!